next story that I wanted to talk about here. Something I was looking up online because again, some of my people don't quite understand that racism is still alive and well. Some of my people don't understand that we are under attack family and we've always been under attack since slavery ended, even during slavery, when slavery ended, the Jim Crow era, we've we've constantly been under attack um, by different members of white society, different white supremacists, and it's really the these incidents really don't hold any merit because what it, what what have black people done to anybody in this country? When we look at the Black Panthers, when we look at you know any type of militia group, quote unquote, that they've been scared of, when have a when has a group of black people? went on a hunt and killed several white people. Has that shit ever happened in modern times? You feel me? But they treat us like we the goddamn pariah. Anyways, there's a story out of Washington, D.C. where a group of masked white supremacists calling themselves the Patriot Front. They wore masks, about 150 of them. About 150 of them marched with a police escort, I might add. They marched... um, in Washington, D.C., shouting, Reclaim America. Keeping in mind that they had masks on, which is some real cowardly shit. If you're going to preach this shit, if you're going to be racist, I, I really like to know who my racists are. I don't like the covert shit. Be overt about it so we can know who to fuck up, so we can know who we need to stay away from. You feel me? So these see, the, these sucker motherfuckers had on masks to begin with. So they have on masks, um, um, marching around talking about reclaim america talking about in their whole premise because the um let me see here they've been the 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 southern poverty law center classifies the patriot front as a hate group they're an offshoot of the vanguard america the organization responsible for the notorious 2017 unite the right march in charlottesville virginia and they basically believe that white people are the only true Americans, right? And, it, and it's really weird that they, the, the cognitive dissidents that these people have when it comes to history, when it comes to how shit has transpired, right? Because America, if nobody understands this or if nobody knows, America was founded on slavery. The slavery, the work that the slaves did built America literally. The banking system, the railroad yard, the stock market, which slaves were the first, the first uh, 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 item on the stock market. All of the entities in in the American culture were created by the money slaves generated. All of it, right? All of it. So to see shit like this in 2020, I just need my people to know we still under fire, family. That's why it's important for you to learn your history. That's why it's important for you to try to get a a legal gun in your home. That's why it's important to teach your kids about history. Teach your children about what is taking place in this country so they can be prepared if they see any of this shit or if they have to be involved in any of this shit because it ain't going nowhere. You feel me? There's still a large section of society who thinks we're monkeys, who thinks we shouldn't be here, who think you are are still three-fifths of a goddamn human being. You you, you feel what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So things like this are going to continue to happen in our country. All we can do is prepare ourselves. All we can do is unify to the best of our ability. But tearing each other down ain't going to get it. Tearing each other down is what these people want to continue to see from us. So I think it's important that I talk about stories like this to put some fire under the black person's ass who think that shit is sweet in an American family. It's not sweet. Ain't never been sweet. Probably won't never be sweet, but that's fine. Like my boy Keon Johnson say, we in good hands, family. Our own. You feel me? Now, for the next story.